Just mystery in our skies has just gotten a little bit stranger. Howard's top scientists say that it could be a nuclear-powered alien craft of all things. The greatest mystery in our skies just got even stranger. Comet 3i Atlas, a visitor from a distant star, was supposed to be a scientific marvel, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for astronomers to study an object from another solar system. But what it revealed in recent weeks defies everything we know about space. This wasn't just a comet, something much stranger was unfolding. Four of the most advanced space telescopes, the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's Spherix mission, and the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, watched in unison as 3I Atlas, the third interstellar object ever detected, suddenly underwent a dramatic and unsettling transformation. At first, 3I Atlas behaved exactly as astronomers expected from a comet of its kind. It appeared as a faint, fuzzy blur gliding across the stars at over 100,000 miles per hour, gradually shedding material as it approached the sun. For scientists, this was supposed to be a rare gift, an object from another star system passing through ours, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to study in a fragment of an alien world. For months, astronomers tracked its every move with excitement, unaware that something far stranger was about to be revealed. But then, something happened that no one expected. The light from 3i Atlas began to change. At first, the shift was subtle. Photometric measurements showed a slow drift in its color balance. Comets from our solar system tend to display a fairly well-understood palette. Dust reflecting sunlight in neutral tones, water vapor producing faint blue emissions, and carbon compounds adding occasional green glows. But 3i Atlas was different. Its coma, the gas and dust cloud surrounding its nucleus, shifted from faintly reddish to a deep, luminous green. And this wasn't the ordinary green seen in some comets. The emission bands were stronger, sharper, and more dominant than usual. Observers began describing the glow as hostile, not because the comet posed an immediate danger, but because the light it reflected looked alien, uncomfortably unfamiliar, as if it were broadcasting a message no one could interpret. The James Webb Space Telescope was the first to confirm the strange composition driving this transformation. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph picked out the fingerprints of carbon dioxide in quantities far exceeding anything expected. Normally, water dominates cometary activity once a comet approaches the inner solar system. For 3i Atlas, the situation was inverted. Its carbon dioxide emissions outweighed water by nearly 8 to 1. This meant the object could not have formed in a region similar to where our solar system's comets were born. Instead, it must have formed far from its parent star, beyond the so-called carbon dioxide frost line, or temperatures are so cold that CO2 can condense into ice while water remains locked away. That alone was a profound clue. This was a fragment of a planetary nursery colder and stranger than ours, forged in an environment that few astronomers had even dared to imagine. Hubble soon added its own revelations. Its ultraviolet and visible light instruments revealed cyanide and dicarbon molecules at levels astronomers had never measured in a comet. These compounds are familiar enough. They glow green when excited by solar radiation. But in 3i Atlas, they overwhelmed the spectrum. Combined with Webb's infrared data, the picture became undeniable. The comet's chemistry was not just different, but extreme. If ordinary comets whisper their molecular stories, 3i Atlas shouted its alien chemistry in blazing color. NASA's SPRX mission, designed to map the entire sky in infrared spectra, supplied the missing wide-angle context. Where Webb and Hubble drill into postage stamp fields, SPRX sweeps great swaths of sky, building time-tagged spectral cubes that show how the coma breathes and changes. That cadence made it ideal for tracking the spreading emerald halo of 3i Atlas. The survey confirmed overwhelming carbon dioxide dominance across the coma, but it also caught something subtler, irregular, processing jets that stitched faint arcs through the gas, switching on and off as the nucleus rotated. Those jets lofted ultra-fine grains that scattered light in unexpected ways. Follow-up polarization work across multiple phase angles returned curves no one recognized from ordinary comets implying dust that was either oddly shaped, magnetically aligned, or built from fragile fractal aggregates rather than the compact silicate grains common in our system. In other words, the powder in this comet wasn't sunborn, it carried the fingerprint of a far colder, more carbon-rich nursery. Even tests built to find exoplanets by watching for tiny dips in starlight had a crucial role. 
Mining its wide field archive, astronomers pulled a breadcrumb trail of faint detections showing 3i Atlas stirring long before sunlight should have mattered. At heliocentric distances where water ice is rock hard and inert, the comet was already breathing. Only hypervolatiles, chiefly carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, sublimate that far out, and their early escape explains both the premature coma and the later violent jetting. The implication is stark. Deep within 3i Atlas, layers rich in these ices were preserved from birth, insulated for eons in interstellar cold. As the four observatories braided their results, the narrative sharpened and grew stranger. The emerald flare wasn't a parlor trick, it was chemistry announcing that this traveler obeys rules we barely understand. For some researchers, that's the whole story. An extreme but natural outcome of a CO-CO2 rich comet forged beyond familiar frost lines. For others, the timing, the colors, and the dust physics feel like a message, intentional or otherwise, hinting that this object is not merely different, but instructive, an emissary from conditions our models have yet to imagine. The implications extend far beyond astronomy. If 3i Atlas truly hails from the Milky Way's thick disk, as its peculiar velocity and chemistry imply, then we're studying a relic from an older chapter of the galaxy, forged when metallicities were lower and radiation environments harsher. That would make it potentially billions of years senior to our own solar system. A traveler like this could have coasted through interstellar night since before Earth had oceans, its surface gardened by cosmic rays, its interior preserving isotopic ratios and molecular architectures that predate our planet. In that icy heart might be clues to how volatiles assemble in star-poor regions, whether complex organics can survive eons in the dark, and how dust evolves under ancient magnetic fields. But age cuts both ways. An object seasoned by deep time doesn't follow our playbook. When its activity flares, models tuned to water-driven comets born under our sun wobble and break. That unpredictability is exactly what has drawn the attention of the United States Space Force. Officially, Space Force watch officers frame 3i Atlas as a space domain awareness problem. Monitor the dust environment, protect assets, update conjunction risk. Unofficially, the mandate is broader. A body that shifts color, jets off axis, and threads the inner system on a non-repeating trajectory is a system's hazard. Outbursts seed high-velocity dust that can sandblast optics and star trackers. Exotic emission lines can crowd protected radio bands, complicating deep space communications during critical nuplinks. If rotational stresses shed a fragment, the resulting delta V can move small pieces into unexpected corridors. Bad news for weather satellites, Mars orbiters, and the relay network we lean on for planetary missions. No credible impact solution targets Earth, but low probability, high consequence is the kind of phrase that keeps defense agencies awake. Inside the scientific community, the argument is white hot. The conservative camp sees a natural, if extreme, COCO2 rich comet from a frigid nursery. Strange dust, yes, new photochemistry, yes, but fundamentally cometary physics. The contrarians note the stack of coincidences, its nearly ecliptic approach, the Mars flyby geometry, the tantalizing timing against ambiguous biosignature chatter from the Martian surface. Not proof, they stress, pattern, not causation, but enough to ask whether 3i Atlas is a delivery vector, intentional or otherwise, for exotic material into a system thick with detectors and curiosity. The debate spills into planetary protection ethics. If fragments intersect Mars or our own upper atmosphere, do we sample, sterilize, or simply watch? For now, observation is the truce. Hubble logs the light curve and coma morphology as rotation modulates the jets. JWST peels back molecular bands, chasing isotopologues that could fingerprint the comet's birth zone. Spherex maps the wide-field glow, catching asymmetries that hint at topography on the nucleus. TESS continues the archival dragnet, extending the record of pre-solar activation farther into the cold. Data cadence is everything. Nightly spectra, hourly photometry, polarization sweeps across phase angles, each pass tightening constraints, and, perversely, widening the mystery. The symbolism is impossible to miss, an emerald interstellar wanderer under the gaze of our finest observatories while defense nodes quietly posture. This reads like prologue. 
Yet, it is not fiction. It is a live experiment in how a young technological species responds to the unknown. Whether 3i slash ATLS is a natural relic, a cosmic messenger, or a phenomenon we lack words for, it forces a recalibration. The galaxy is more varied than our tidy priors allow. And the decisive moment lies ahead. Perihelion, the crucible where comets reveal themselves, approaches. Some bodies blossom into cathedrals of light. Others crack, dim, and dissolve. A rare few overturn expectations entirely. If 3i slash ATLS still has cards to play, that is when they will hit the table. The hostile green may be prelude, not crescendo. For now, scientists and soldiers alike wait and watch. The telescopes keep gathering light, the Space Force keeps its alerts active, and the world wonders what an emerald green comet from another star might mean. Perhaps it is only a chemical quirk, a natural comet made in a different kind of nursery, or perhaps it is something more, a sign that we are not alone in the galaxy. Whatever the truth, 3i slash ATLS has already changed us. It has reminded us that the universe is not predictable, not safe, and not finished surprising us. And as it streaks past the sun, glowing in a hostile color no one expected, one question remains. Is this simply a comet from another star, or the first signal of something greater?